Hi everyone and welcome to another Willard Public Library Virtual Crafternoon. On this episode, we're going to be making a beautiful autumn leaf wreath using upcycled book pages. Craft kits for this project are available at the Adult Services desk at Willard Public Library while supplies last. Each kit includes two feet of twine, four traceable autumn templates in different shapes, about eight or nine pieces of upcycled book pages, four pieces of fall-themed double-sided paper, one cardboard wreath that measures 12 inches in diameter, and a pencil. You will also need glue, scissors, and colored pencils are optional. Start with your cardboard ring and your piece of twine. Put the two ends of the twine together and then feed the loop through the hole in the cardboard. You may need a hole punch to make the hole a little bigger. Put the ends through the loop and then pull it tight. We are going to need at least 20 leaves to cover our wreath. So to save some time, take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. Your paper should have four different sections. While folded, trace around one of your leaf patterns and then you're going to cut it out. This method will allow you to make four leaves at one time. Continue tracing and cutting out your leaves from your autumn leaf paper and your book pages until you have at least 20 leaves to cover your cardboard ring. If you feel like getting fancy, you can use colored pencils and color along the edges of your leaves to give them some dimension. Before you start gluing your leaves to your cardboard ring, it's a good idea to lay out your first layer so that you know that you're going to like the way it looks. When you're ready, add a very small amount of glue to the back side of your leaf and stick it onto the cardboard. This project is a great opportunity to use up some of the scrap paper you might have laying around your house. You'll see here that I used a couple of pieces of autumn themed cardstock for mine. You're just going to want to keep layering on your leaves until you feel that your wreath is complete. Once you're finished gluing, you might want to consider putting your wreath underneath something flat and heavy like a book to dry. This will help to eliminate any wrinkles from the glue. When finished, display your wreath indoors and enjoy. Thanks for watching.